Bradley. I'm Chuck Martin, one of your pilots. Are you ready to take off? Anytime you say. Oh, just a minute. You're the young lady I talked to over the phone? Well, yes. I'd rather nothing was said about this trip, who I am or what my destination is. All right? Certainly, Doctor. See ya. Dr. Bradley? Yes? Well, naturally, we're a little curious, you know. Mm hmm? Well, I know that you just hired us to fly you down to the Hillman Ranch and where you go and what you do is your own business. But, well, we were... I know, as you said, curious. I don't think you can blame us. You have been mysterious. I only mean to be cautious. But you don't want to say why? I will say it's a matter of panic. Panic? Preventing one. Doctor said you were not to get up. No, he lies. It's a trick. That's the police. Jose. They found out about me. No, Jose, it's only the sickness that makes you think so. I'm not sick. Jose. Maria, the police are coming. Jose, if you love me. If you love the baby today, you will listen to me. Maria, I love you. There's nothing more in the world. That's why I must go. No, Jose. That's why you must stay. Maria. My wonderful, good Maria. some time. Oh? We may wander around a bit, Doc. I want you to stay right here until I return. Oh, look, Doc. I'm sorry, but that's the way it has to be, Mr. Martin. Now, please do as I ask. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming, Dr. Bradley. It's been a long time, Thompson. How many years? Ten, sir. I wasn't sure you'd remember me when I phoned. I rarely forget my students, especially the more promising ones. Well... This may prove I wasn't so promising. My uh, diagnosis could be all wrong. Well, frankly, I hope so. I was afraid to make a report to the Department of Health until I was sure. You understand, sir? Certainly. Now, let's see your patients. Well, Dr. Bradley? Your diagnosis was correct, Townsend. Then we begin the inoculations immediately? Beginning with ourselves. You've isolated all the cases? All except one. Except? All except Jose Montalavo. What do you mean? Well, I tried to isolate him, but his wife Maria wouldn't leave him. She's pregnant, too. What? Where are they? Right here. We'll have to see them. Maria, it's 
it's me, Dr. Townsend. Maria. Maria. Where? They couldn't have gone far. We'll search for them as soon as I inoculate you. Please roll up your sleeves. Inoculate us? What for? I told you it was a matter of extreme urgency. Oh, now, wait a minute, Doc. Before you stick that needle in my arm, you're going to tell us what this is all about. We ought to have some reason, Doc. All right. Pneumonic plague. Is that a good enough reason? Pneumonic plague. Not as familiar as bubonic, but as contagious and every bit as vicious. Now, will you let me get on with this? Pneumonic plague. Montalavo and his wife have it. Jose has. His wife could contract it. For that matter, anybody coming in contact with him, it could spread like wildfire. Where's the other doctor? He's calling the Department of Health. We need help on this. Right now, I'm more concerned about finding Jose Montalavo and isolating him. Let's get started. south end of the valley. They could have headed in that direction. Again, looking for me.
can't walk anymore. You're too sick. It's not too far to your Uncle Carlos's house? No. Come on. We'll go there. <laughs> sign of them, Townsend. No. But there's the possibility they may be on their way to the Carson Ranch in the West Valley. How do you know? Carlos Gomez is the caretaker of the ranch. And he's also Maria's uncle. One of the workers, a close friend of Jose's, told me about it. The West Valley. All right, we'll give it a try. Oh, there's something else the worker told me. The probable explanation for Jose's running away. He was afraid. Afraid of what? When he came to this country two years ago, he entered illegally. You mean a wetback, huh? Afraid of being deported, separated from his wife. Let's look up Gomez. <laughs> Are you Carlos Gomez? See, si. no, we're looking for Jose Montalabo. You know him. See, si. he's a nice boy. He's married to my niece, Maria. Why? Have you seen him? Well, come on, come on. Have you seen him? Jose? Or your niece? No. no we have an idea. They may have been here. I have not heard from them or, or seen them in weeks. Now, will you call me if you do? I'm Dr. Bradley. I can be reached at the Hillman Ranch. Let's see. Thanks a lot. I had not done as you ordered. I would have killed you. No, Theo. He doesn't mean it. He's sick. He has a fever. I do mean it. My wife and her baby are more important than your life or mine. Well, Jose, since you did not have to kill me, I will take my gun. No. But you have no need for it now. Yes. I will need it. Until we're far away and safe. This is Carlos Gomez. I must talk to Dr. Bradley. Right away.
And when I returned here, they were gone. He must have awakened... He must have awakened when I went out to make a phone call for you. Well, since you've been in close contact with Jose, this will be necessary. And they took the car, huh? And my gun, too. He said he needed it to get far away and safe. Yeah. Hmm. With your car, he can get far enough. I... I think Maria will call. Uh, when she gets a chance, she wants to help him. She will call, but... You must wait. Well, might as well wait. There's not much sense in looking for the car from the air at night. Yes? Oh, yes, Thompson. There they are, are they? That's fine. But we've got more trouble. Montalavo and his wife got away. I'll talk to the head man there, will you? See, see if they can't help. But we're waiting here, hoping for a call from Maria. What? Um, it's a gray sedan. Jose, where are we going? To Los Angeles. But why there? It's a big city, and we'll be swallowed up. Maybe two hours we'll be there. It would be safe. It's been two hours. I I'm sure she will call. When she gets the chance. As long as Jose has your gun, what makes you think she'll get the chance? I'm not just thinking of her. I'm thinking of anybody he may come in contact with. He could endanger a whole city. where you are. The doctor will come there. Do not let him go. I heard you, Uncle. Look 
Look at me, I am Maria. No. You're trying to trap me. Go away. Don't listen to me, I am Maria. Go away, or I'll kill you. He's still in there and he means business. You didn't spot him, though, huh? No. He's hiding under the seats in the center section. He doesn't mean to kill. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's frightened. So am I. Frightened that he may escape into the hills above the bowl and then get into the city. Well, maybe we can stop that. Oh. By scaring him out in the open and then forcing him down toward the shell. Come on, P.T. Marie, Marie, my little Marie. 